ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದುಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸುಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರ್ವಶುಕಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುಪವಚಿತಾನಂಪಾವನೇಭವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನ
नैताद मनो में तब कथा सुबैकुंठनाथ संप्रीयते दुरी तुष्ट साधुतीव्र काम तुरम हर्ष शोक भय सनातन तस्में कथम तब गति नैताद मनो में तब कथा सुबैकुंठनाथ संप्रीयते दुरी तुष्ट साधु तीव्र काम तुरम हर्ष शोक भय सनातन तस्में कथम तब गति विमीन गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौड़ गोष्ठीपति गौड़ गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट वेन एनी ऑफ द विश ऑफ एनी वन इट इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग ऑल टुगेदर विद भगवत इच्छा देन दैट पर्सन कैन बिकम एक्चुअली हैप्पी अदरवाइज ऑल द टाइम ही विल बी इन मटीरियल टेंशन दे सम काइंड ऑफ रेस्टलेसनेस विल बी देयर इन साइड हिज माइंड ऑल द टाइम गौड़ गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट वेन द विल ऑफ सम वन इज एक्चुअली वेन द वेन द विल ऑफ जीवात्मा इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग ऑल टूगेदर विद द विश ऑफ भगवान इट इज ऑल टूगेदर बिकमिंग वन विद भगवान then only that jeevatma can become happy in his life that actual peacefulness can come he can get actual peacefulness in his life otherwise there will be one kind of restlessness will definitely be there other from where actually that material tension that whole material tension we just get in so inside his mind and so much uh, consciousness will be there of this material world all the time in his in inside his mind that of a shela pralad maharaj he is actually speaking to nirsingh dev bhagwan that nirsingh dev bhagwan who that we are just in the pathway of our bhajan whatever kind of thorns are there countless thorns in order to destroy that we are actually praying to onto the lotus feet of nirsingh dev bhagwan on the lotus feet of nirsingh dev bhagwan we have this prayer that in the way of our bhajan so much countless thorns if it will come that you just by the there by his kripa it can get removed but it doesn't mean that we are actually giving one service to nirsingh dev whatever i will do and uh, whatever kind of foolish things i'll do and bhagwan will just rectify this this which are is totally absurd not at all good this is the actual significance of abhakti Pralad Maharaj actually speaking in front of Nirsingh Dev and he is just praying on to the lotus feet of Nirsingh Dev that uh, what kind of prayer he has shown in front of us the actual point is that that in order to just give us instruction to bonded jeevas he is actually Pralad Maharaj is doing all this Pralad Maharaj in order to give instructions to all of us he is actually giving that otherwise that who has in front of whom bhagwan has already manifested himself so his uh, bond, his mind will be in bonded condition will it be possible you tell me this is just one kind of humble mood what he is showing dai kish bhaktivan thakur has just shown us the actual path of mercy that humble mood how you have to show bhaktivan thakur prabhupad and our guru var everyone has that humble mood no this is actually called transcendental humble mood keshav goswami maharaj has written abhaga means that those who are unlucky that they have this topmost unluck that this is actually humble mood what is shown by vaishnavas in the bhajan life of those the most more uh, uh, humble mood will get established and they are actually in this life in that particular vaishnav's life that he will be getting manifest established in the tranada bhi sunich bhav and he is all the time just busy in shravan kirtan of bhagwan all the time this kind of uh, exclusive advantage he can get all the time he is actually doing hari naam that in which tranadapi sunech 
दिस इज एक्चुअली द थर्ड नंबर श्लोक ऑफ शिक्षाष्टकम टोल्ड बाय श्री गौरंग महाप्रभु इन दैट महा श्री गौरंग महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग दिस थर्ड नंबर श्लोक देयर दैट काइंड ऑफ एक्सक्लूसिव दैट दोज हु आर वॉट इज द एक्सक्लूसिविटी ऑफ दोज पर्सन हु आर डूइंग हरी भजन वॉट इज द एक्चुअल सिम्टम ऑफ दोज Uh, doing Hari Bhajan, that they have a more and more humble mood than the blade of grass. Why blade of grass? Because just like blade of grass, if they are like the whole uh, uh, ass will just uh, goat, uh, beard, goat, asses, cattle, everything will eat up that grass. So that's why more humbler than the blade of grass. It is uh, spoken here. <coughs> This is here, and uh, he should be more and more uh, uh, patient than uh, the. tree more and more uh, patience should be there than the tree that more patience so someone can be there than tree yes definitely he is there you can mahaprabhu already told but haridas thakur you can see the case has given us the practical example that he is more and more uh, patient than the tree because uh, no one has this will power uh, other than tree in this material world we cannot see that at all that is the topmost point but haridas thakur is actually is of not not of this material world at all he is actually transcendental in nature so haridas thakur also in his life that what he has shown that after just getting up beaten up in the market in 22 markets so much after getting beaten up in 22 markets after that also still haridas thakur and on to the lotus feet of bhagwan he is actually putting his uh, pray prayer that you just uh, more throw him means just uh, whatever kind of uh, throw or whatever kind of uh, cunning attitude they have for that they don't need to get any kind of fruit out of that action what they are putting vaishnav's actual role is to just uh, uh, release others गोपाल चक्रवर्ती ही हैज रिलीज हिम एंड हरिदास ठाकुर बाय हरिदास ठाकुर बट स्टिल ही इज प्रेइंग ऑन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान दैट यू जस्ट प्लीज फॉर गिव हिम फॉर गिवनेस फॉर गिवनेस इज द एक्चुअल मूड ऑफ वैष्णव सो प्रहलाद महाराज एक्चुअल माइंड इज नॉट इन हिज ओन कंट्रोल इट इज जस्ट वन काइंड ऑफ सिनफुल थॉट बिकॉज जस्ट बाई हिज हम्बल मूड इज एक्चुअली स्पूटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस जस्ट फॉर अवर एक्चुअल इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ऑल द बॉन्डेड जीवस because if we will hear that pralad maharaj is in con- bonded condition his mind is not in control so this is one kind of sinful activity to hear what pralad maharaj actually is speaking to us it is not that it he is speaking sinfully so he has that sim- humble mood that he is uh, expressing that pralad maharaj actually just putting his request out to the lotus feet of uh, narsingha dev when he is speaking that this my mind prabhu bhagwan that uh, in your shraman kirtan and it is not at all uh, getting uh, exclusivity in your uh, hari bhajan at all i am not at all getting attached to your uh, shraman kirtan at all my actual luck is very much ill i have ill luck what to do bhagwan you tell me so in this katha i am not at all getting attached at all and uh, in order to go to bhagwan there is only one pathway open Prabhupad, the Prabhupad always used to speak regularly that in order to go to Bhagwan, there is only one pathway open. That is oral reception, just by your ears. That you just need to get the nectarian flow of Hari Katha and Kirtan from the lotus mouth of pure Guru Vishnu. That kind of melted nectarian vani of pure Guru Vishnu's mouth, you just need to hear that every day, each and every time. that my heart my bro my my heart is very brutal my bro brutal heart it is it this heart is very unstable and inside it different different kind of anarth are there different different type of anarth is how i can uh, just remember you how i can do your bhajan and how all the time i can get into your uh, bhakti it is this uh, mind is actually asadhu he it is my heart is not at all sadhu it is asadhu tivram that to, uh, totally asadhu it is he is not at all listening to me so in this condition what to do you tell me kama duram harsho sokho vaishana kama kama this kamna vasana this also is the actual cause this is the actual cause of our bondage 
it is actually just putting up in the ocean of maya that is the actual cause for us to put us in maya that is actually putting us in the ocean of maya this kamana vasana that kaam material kaam it is there inside that is normal but that kaam aturam means that by kaam i am actually getting atur means that it's just the disease is getting uh, open that inside my heart that my disease is getting spread so much of kama that i am just getting uh, very much depressed of kama sometimes in the in maya i am actually just uh, laughing and sometimes i am actually i'm getting distressed and unhappy that i have that fearful mood i have that aishana vitteshana i have that fearfulness i have restlessness different different uh, kinds of aishana yukti are there in my life and no bhakti is there at all this is the actual condition of my heart this is the actual condition of my heart now you do some keep on me that how i can get on to your lotus feet arthaishana vithaishana phir and after that after getting the siddhi that kind of aishana to get siddhi that mukti aishana bhukti aishana different different kind of desires it is actually just uh, i am getting entangled in that from all directions and in this condition how i can uh, go on to your lotus feet how can i attain your lotus feet that is the actual uh, manasiksha given by pralad maharaj the actual instructions of uh, to the heart that is also manasiksha no that is also the instructions uh, given to us by pralad maharaj regarding uh, that pralad maharaj also in order to teach our heart that how you just need to give instructions to your brutal heart unstable heart that's why parlan maharaj also speaking that this is also manasiksha and shri ragunath das go swami is uh, that shri manasiksha written by ragunath das go swami that is also the instructions given to this heart if you can speak that upadesh shri upadesh amrit that is that shri upadesh amrit is also manasiksha that is in, in order to give instructions to your mind bonded bonded heart that is actually upadesh amrit is for what purpose you tell me shila rup ko swami pad what has, he has given this upadesh amrit it is just to rectify our heart brutal heart that upadesh amrit what shila rup ko swami pad has given us that upadesh amrit means it is in order to just rectify your bonded heart that is actually called upadesh amrit but uh, there is any uh, one straight point fixed that uh, inside upadesh amrit that the topmost mystery of bhajan topmost instruction and uh, indication of uh, shuddha bhakti is given in shri upadesh amrit shri larup goswami pad has just uh, from the starting till the end has uh, given so much uh, good nice indication of shuddha bhajan this all what he has told in shri upadesh amrit and the, this is the first shlok only first you need to, what is the first shlok you tell me the first shlok is actually speaking for sanyas ashram ke kai mano vakyo me sanyas by body speech and mind you have to take sanyas for what purpose that by body speech and mind after taking sanyas it is essential why because by body speech and mind you just need to serve krishna all the time that the actual word of sanyas is this only sat plus nyas that in the fifth canto also of shrimad bhagavatam mriga vadunyas chadvaraji maharaj when he was uh, he is uh, just uh, taking care of the baby deer deer baby was actually just got uh, uh, getting away from there then automatically that kind of uh, distress he is actually feeling there he is doing bilap and feeling distress there that mriga vadunyas mrig vadhu that that kind uh, that baby deer she has just uh, left her body and he has given me this uh, dear baby and i am not at all i am actually doing all wrong i haven't uh, taken care of his uh, nourishment 
So this is the actual Mrigodavanyas. Mrigodavanyas. That sanyas means that sat plus nyas. Sat means that transcendental absolute truth, nitya vastu, that nitya object, which is actually permanent, that is actually Bhagwan, absolute reality. Nyas means that in order to stay uh, by rules and regulations fully in contact with that absolute truth. It means so sometimes, as an example, you have some very less money and uh, jewelry you are giving uh, and uh, in front of that jewelry you are just uh, taking out some money. Nyas means that you are uh, putting something in order to get something out. You understand the point what I am speaking? That which is not yours at all. That gachit you are giving, that you, that heart, when you are thinking yourself, then person definitely gonna fall down. When he is thinking that it's his heart only, when some person is thinking that his heart is actually his own friend, then definitely that kind of a, a, a temple of death will open for him. That this heart is not ours at all. Every time repeatedly I have already discussed about the condition of heart that this heart is not ours then whose it is then heart is Bhagavan already speaking then it is Prakriti Ashtadha that my Prakriti that function that eight different types of functions are there that eight divisions are there in the Prakriti and Prakriti is working according to those eight different categorization and divisions so your heart is not yours that is not at all yours but uh, but you are thinking that the heart is yours that is the biggest problem that is the biggest problem that you are thinking that it, this heart is yours and this heart this mind and this chit you know just by doing the bhajan of Bhagwan, slowly steadily when your heart is getting uh, Vishodhan means just when your heart is getting rectified and at that time then your heart is getting in control of your and in Bhagavad Bhajan all the time it is getting absorbed in that and that's why your heart is can get absorbed in Bhajan. So that is the actual rules by which we have to go by. Nyas means that you just need to put something in front in order to get something. That someone has given Someone has given given me 2 lakh rupees and he is speaking that you can take 2 lakh rupees that if some, because you will not get any money and uh, after one year I will be taking from you after one to two years. That may be jewel, jewelry is there, diamond, who, whatsoever is there. So that he has given it to me. I don't have any adhikar in that. That what Sriman Mahaprabhuji has openly spoke, speak, spoken to Srila Sanatan Goswami regarding this. When Sanatan Goswami Pad has shown, has seen that Mahaprabhu is touching him and Sanatan Goswami Pad thinking that this body is what is this, what it is there in this material body, nothing. I just made of uh, stool and unique blood and flesh and just uh, sweat and just bad blood is just oozing out, that's it. And definitely, if some kind of transformation is there, then Mahaprabhu is not at all listening to me also. That same body he is actually touching and embracing. Since skin disease is there on my body, and still this same body Mahaprabhu is touching, I have this uh, blood is oozing out and same Mahaprabhu is actually touching me, so it's better that I should leave my body. At the, in the Rathyatra of Jagannath, under the wheel of Jagannath, I will be just uh, uh, killing myself. Then Mahaprabhu Paratparakileshwar Antaryami in the form as Paramatma, he already is there. And uh, Sanatan Goswami, he is actually speaking in very grave, uh, very loud voice. Hey Sanatan, what is this kind of behavior you tell me? And what kind of behavior it is? Huh? That you are, what kind of behavior Ma- Ma- Mahaprabhu? That this body you are thinking you are by Atma Samarpan you have given it to me. You have already given this body to me, no? That by Atma Samarpan when you have done onto my lotus feet 100%, then only my eligibility is there on your body. You don't have any eligibility at all. How it is your body you tell me? That uh, this body 
they, so you are actually thinking that you will be destroying this body. You know, not at all, that your actually mind is gone out of order. Eh? Your mind is not at all working. That your mind is not at all working. You are uh, taking this kind of decision. This is my body. This is not your body now. That how you can destroy or uh, my my treasure. This is my treasure, your body. So by this body, I have to take lot of seva and I have to give lot of seva to. And how this kind of vichar you can take? This is not at all good at all. Mahaprabhu speaking to Sanatana Goswami. So this is the vichar. You understand? Haridas, Thakur. If someone in front of someone, some actually is giving some kind of uh, treasure, but still he has no eligibility to take that. But still he hasn't taken that completely. That's why Mrigadavanyas, by this word, Jad Maharaji is just becoming distressed and becoming unhappy that this body, that this, uh, that Mrigadavanyas, that uh, the deer, that one deer, she deer, that she deer, she after leaving her body, before that she has given this child to me, dear, be a dear baby, and uh, still I don't have any adhikar on this at all. I don't have adhikar on this uh, eligibility on this kind of uh, baby deer. So in uh, front of anyone. Someone actually giving some kind of gold and you can take some money, Maharaj. I will take it afterwards. Here, I don't have any kind of adhikar to touch it also. So this body also of mine and this my heart, this is not mine at all. This is also not mine. That I am not at all eligible of this heart and of this body at all. This Of this body, I am not at all eligible and this body is not mine actually. This is actually of Bhagwan. It means that it is uh, the Maya of Bhagwan. It is uh, of Maya. So, Prahlad Maharaj actually speaking that uh, in order to instruct your heart, Prahlad Maharaj Ji has uh, told this point that our heart, in order to give this instruction, that is also Manasiksha. So, Upadesh, in Upadesh Amrita, Shila Rupa Goswami Pad, what kind of instruction he has given? This is very very in depth which are is there that how you have to you just need to instruct your heart all the time by right instructions. In Upadesh Amrit, Shri Upadesh Amrit, lot of uh, things regarding bhajans uh, is there already. Like uh, in in the same way our this Shri Manasiksha is also going on to the same pathway. So, the same lot of things that our Raghunath Das Goswami Pad is giving us that how to get rectify our heart and he is just putting his own heart in front of us so that he can instruct us well how to control our uh, unstable mind and heart. Previously also I have discussed this point in front of you that inside heart that kind of uh, fine body is there that uh, mind, intelligence, false ego. There are four divisions are there in fine body. Mind, intelligence, chit and false ego. This uh, all four things inside uh, that kind of vritti that all the time the functioning of the uh, uh, fine body is going on all the time. That That is the actual vritti of mind or heart. That man, buddhi, chit and ankar. These four things. Maybe it looks, maybe it looks Maybe externally by external vichar, maybe by external vichar, according to that external vichar, those, all these four are uh, actually four different different parts. You are you can see that, but if you are making a vichar that internal and actual uh, actually because of the function it is differentiated into four parts. This heart is actually divided into, divided into four categories. Man, Buddhi, Chit and Ankar. And they are actually doing their respective work and karma. What is actual work of heart? That is to do Sankalp and Vikalp. Inside heart, Kama. In, that inside this heart, what it is? 
that sankalpa vikalpa is there to do or not to do like this and whatever sankalpa you have done of some particular object and you have just one rejected one and the, uh, some other object this kind of uh, decision is all the time coming inside your heart that what is actually buddhi intelligence that is to take decision that whether this object i that my heart is actually remembering all the time that how i should get that decision and uh, how i should get out of this uh, object well, so sometimes someone is actually getting married and after getting married and uh, the, there is no uh, oneness with that the relationship so and at last what happens that they are actually getting divorce he is actually thinking that how i should leave him leave her divorce that's it at last he is actually thinking like that how i j can be get rid of him from this uh, ent- entanglement so inside your heart that what kind of uh, sankalp vikalp is going on that uh, in order to take the final decision that only eligibility is uh, of mind that intelligence that chit means that who is actually just by seeing one object just like magnet it is just attracting that particular object that chit if one actually taking like a camera he is taking a picture after that it is getting attracted inside your chit and that my after that heart is actually doing sankalp and vikalp and mind is actually taking the decision after that but without ahankar without false ego that whole material world can get destroyed without ahankar this false ego then the only this material world is going on ahankar is also of two type one is that is pure ego and one is false ego this mrid uh, ahankar that is false ego that is actually his other name is vritha ahankar and sh- the shuddha ahankar means pure ego that is actual ahankar that ahankar should be there definitely hanuman manji hanuman ji mara actually speaking to ravan are actually you are who you are i am actually the servant of ram hanuman ji speaking i am servant of ram are you are actually servant i thought that you are some kind of uh, king of some country definitely i am servant but i am actually servant of ram shri ram sakshat parat par akileshwar bhagwan shri ram chandra ji and you are actually servant of maya hanuman ji speaking to you are actually servant of maya what to do huh. ahankar definitely should be there if ahankar is not at all there then sansar will not get destroyed at all those who are just taking this one binding force is going on with your husband wife children is there binding force is there with them what is that binding force that when binding force is there then each and every person according to their uh, material activities they will be doing that and their binding and uh, at by because of their binding they are actually doing that no if there is no binding then he will not do anything at all what kind of attachment is this i have already told in punjab also that what kind of attachment it is bondage is this that you cannot see that but this bondage is so much hard to break that it you cannot see that at all And who actually has told you that whole day you have to work and at the night time you just need to come back who told that nobody is actually mara speaking all the ab- this so much attraction is there inside him definitely he is his wife is there his child his children is there so he need to go for that that he has that attraction for that uh, small child that he is just getting unstable while just uh, uh, walking and he is actually attracted to that he wanted to hear the actual uh, uh, voice of his child kalaksharanam anurakta dhiya ye bachcha ka he is actually just a very sweet voice of the boy boy he wants to hear just because of that his heart is getting attracted his sense organs are getting uh, uh, lattu lattu me feeling greediness for that that is also one kind of bondage no this is also material rasa he is actually taking Ma- ch- ch- the child should uh, do lot of aggressive he should be aggressive uh, if a person a child who is actually very stable uh, mother don't want that mother wants that the boy should be very aggressive that is okay <laughs> so what to do foolish <laughs> so mind body intelligence and ahankar because of ahankar 
this whole material world whatever is going on in this material world whole material world is actually going on on the basis of ankar even on this 14 planetary system whatever this whole material world is brahman is going that what is the actual reason that is ahankar fall ego vritha ahankar which is actually called false ego it is totally waste useless we just but that pure ego that i am the servant of ram like ye mere swarup hai krishna nitya this kind of ego that i am the servant of bhagwan this is actually actual pure ego pure un pure qualified consciousness inside here that no ahankar is there at all a false ego is not at all there so this is the actual vichar now in man shiksha that this uh, ragunath das ko swami pad actually has written that uh, in order to instruct your heart like this that whether ragunath das ko swami his heart is actually bonded that why he has written like this then that the actual condition of heart is bonded what is the actual reason that his heart is actually bonded ha huh? you are thinking no not at all like that you are totally wrong by just thinking like that there is only one reason for that that in order to give us the instructions that manasiksha is actually established by him and in order to get the in depth vichar of uh, this uh, gaudiya bhajan in order to establish that that's why it is written otherwise all rubbish and foolishness is there in this whole material world all four direction whatever actually is doing someone nobody is actually speaking if you will speak then the cutting will be done everyone will murder you whatever you he wants to do he can do whatever he wants to do he can do nobody has this kind of uh, audacity what he can do nobody can stop him what to do that all automatically this unstable mind without giving any actual instruction to him without instructing him without giving instruction to this heart if you will just uh, uh, give freeness to your heart then this heart will just throw you away it everything will go away it will throw you away this is the actual condition of your heart in mana shiksha each and every instruction it is actually is to give the instruction to your heart and mind that i have already told that shri lagor kishor das baba ji maharaj he also has just told like this in order to instruct our heart in every morning you just need to get up and just need to <coughs> slap yourself and slap your heart you just need to every morning you just need to give uh, foul words you have to speak foul words to your heart and uh, 100 to 150 times you just need with the chappal you just need to slap yourself or slap your cheeks you just need to slap chappal on your cheeks that on your own face that 100 times you just need to slap yourself with chappal that oh brutal heart you, that dushman that prahlad maharaj what he is speaking that very uh, brutal heart so now the actual question is coming that shiksha ashtakam in that also mahaprabhu ji in shiksha ashtakam sambandha vidya prayojan that first two shlok you just uh, leave that in first two shlok was it's just general shri speaking every uh, he has told to brahma and after that that sambandha gyan about that and then uh, abhide prayo atatva and prayojan tatva and this is the same <coughs> shiksha of mana shiksha if you can understand it completely the actual instruction of mana shiksha is the same and in all the sha- gaudiya vishnu shastra whatever you can see that whatever kind of vishnu shastra you can uh, take that there is only segregation of sambandha abhide and prayojan tatva where whatever is written it is actually in context with the sambandha abhide and prayojan as sambandha vidhi and prayojan are taken in front so the mana shiksha and shri upadesh amrit target both the, uh, both of them have the same target that in order to get the top most mystery of bhajan our prabhupad ji also at the time of braj mandal parikrama ragunath das ko swami pad mana shiksha and and shri larup ko swami pad virchit shri upadesh amrit he used to discuss that 
दैट श्री उपदेश अमृत ऑफ शिल्ला रूप गोस्वामी बाद एंड मन शिक्षा इंस्ट्रक्शंस टू आवर हार्ट वॉट एवर इज देयर दैट ऑल गोस्वामी ग्रंथ देर इज ओनली वन टारगेट दैट यू जस्ट नीड टू रेक्टिफाई योर ब्रूटल हार्ट एंड यू जस्ट नीड टू डाइवर्टेड टू वर्ड्स हरि भजन दी प्रभुपाद एट द टाइम ऑफ ब्रजमंडल परिक्रमा दैट मन शिक्षा दैट रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी पाद विरचित एंड श्री उपदेश अमृत एंड दैट वॉट इज डन बाय शीला रूप गोस्वामी पाद एट द टाइम ऑफ डूइंग ब्रजमंडल परिक्रमा एट द टाइम ऑफ डूइंग ब्रजमंडल परिक्रमा ही यूज टू डू दिस कीर्तन ही यूज टू डू हरी कथा दी प्रभुपाद that on shri man shiksha and shri upadesh amrit and all, he just become full of tears his eyes become full of tears so this is the condition that's why man shiksha this is very much essential and important and nowadays that in saraswat bhakti vino dhara the lot of people that uh, they are on the name of rupanuk dhara they are all totally sahajya all getting destroyed totally vanquished from the actual pathway so our gurudev also used to speak that like we also have don't this kind of eligibility to speak that because we are also no sahajya we don't have adhikar now we that adhikar is also gone why because inside our heart that in saraswat uh, gaudiya vaishnav sampradha this kind of sahajya pant is already being born or created there then why how, to whom we can speak sahajya now we don't have this eligibility now lot of people they are speaking they are speaking two days before two days before also that some south indian person who yourself who himself has came to me nobody actually called him he, he came in dream he is actually speaking to me like that and with very humble mood he has shown me everything he has done and now he is actually become my enemy and now what i can do that he may be some satsang will be done some aparad must have been done so what i can do now and i have nothing to do that he has become my enemy for him I don't have any kind of enmity for him at all and he has become my enemy are you do like this you go to vrindavan and do bhajan don't do preaching like this don't do, don't don't speak like this <laughs> and i have started speaking is so foolish person he is i am just started uh, okay whatever he do i am becoming angry when he is speaking rubbish about gurubar if he is speaking about me something then no worries no worries I, I am no not at all getting angry on him. So he is actually speaking, and lot of persons in the Sahajya's group also that this kind of environment has been produced previously. Are you to do bhajan? Huh? Eh? You do bhajan? What kind of preaching? No. What what prachar? What preaching you will do? What you will do by preaching? You do bhajan. But they don't know. These people don't know. that shriman mahaprabhu is actually swayam bhagwan that sakshat parat par akhileshwar bhagwan he he has done preaching everywhere of naam sankirtan and hari katha they actually all these people are all not at all remembering at all that mahaprabhu himself has done this lot of uh, opposite also they are speaking whether where why god yamat people are taking uh, red clothes every answer i have given it one by one it's already been given lot of time before that madhva god is sampradha is out of the brab madhva sam madhva lineage that uh, they don't have any siddhi pranali at all that they don't go to god yamat at all they are actually all rubbish to so this kind of uh, thing already being spread all over the world so this kind of condition already being has been uh, spreaded so the condition is very much uh, bad but they are not at all understanding that shila vaman goswami maharaj also his own one disciple maybe not today 
इट्स मे बी थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी ईयर्स बैक आई थिंक सो ये थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी ईयर्स बैक एट ट्वेंटी फोर पर गनास इन कैलकाटा एट वन प्लेस दे हैव गॉन एंड देयर एट द टाइम ऑफ प्रीचिंग दे हैव गॉन देयर हेयर देयर दे हैव जस्ट वेंट फॉर प्रीचिंग If they are not at all getting money, they will not go to preaching because the actual motive of preaching is not money. The actual purpose of preaching is to just show the actual acharan of Mahaprabhu and to give the instructions of Mahaprabhu in the form of acharan in front of others and to help others so that they can also get established in the same acharan of Mahaprabhu what he has shown. That is actually preaching. this he is actually sevak of maharaj mamun goswami maharaj he is actually speaking to mamun maharaj gurudev we will not come again what happened are here no pranami is there and no pranami actually is given here and no person is there also to hear hari katha it's all rubbish to come here and we will not spoil our bhajan mamun goswami maharaj speaking <laughs> smiling and speaking are tell me what is bhajan i haven't understood you tell me what do you mean by bhajan amun go swami is asking when our bhajan and preaching is actually on the same platform and has that same uh, uh, platform and my when my bhajan and preaching having that only one goal that is called when my bhajan and preaching is on one platform then only i can uh, do the actual bhajan and i can do the actual seva then only my actual seva can start before that actual seva is not at all possible to do that this is just to give the instructions to your heart in other sampradays also that in gaudiya sampraday is actually it is more that our prabhupada shri upadesh amrit is there so much big book heap of book is there and shila bhakti mr thakur has given so much instructions whole life he it is there in the shri bhakti vinod vani vaibhav i have already published that that was the first time some vaishnav has just told me that 1917 or 1918 at that time this actually being published and now again i have just published it by the mercy of bhakti mr thakur and in between there is no publication of shri bhakti vinod vani vaibhav at all that in order to control if you cannot control your heart then everything is actually useless everything is useless nothing can be done at all that's why lot of shlokas this already been told that in order to control your heart that heart is actually compared with the mad horse it is actually compared with mad horse your your heart it is just compared with the mad horse any how in order to control it it is uncontrollable it is unstable your heart it is just compared with mad horse this uh, heart so much dangerous it is just like mad horse that mad horse can kill anyone forcefully if you want to control him that if you will uh, he, if you will control him forcefully then he will just kill you isko mano this your bonded heart bonded mind you know those who are forcefully just putting their effort to control it definitely they need to forcefully those who are actually putting force and pressure on their mind and heart then the actual symptom is very bad your heart if in if you are getting actual uh, sadhu association that by forcefully in order to control this mind it is become more and more bad like a mad horse you can see okay okay it is mad horse so if you will just be riding on that mad horse and he will just go and kill you it will be he will become more and more unstable that mad horse so this heart it is compared with this uh, mad horse anyhow it it will not get con- get controlled at all about this in geeta our guru bar has told that same part asam sayo mahabahu manah durnirgram charam 
तहम निग्रह मे वायु रीव असुद इट इज नेक्स्ट इम्पॉसिबल दैट इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट कंट्रोल योर हार्ट आवर श्री लरूप को स्वयं पाद इन श्री उपदेश अमृत एंड रघुनाथ दस को स्वयं पाद मन शिक्षा एंड लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर देयर इन ऑर्डर टू कंट्रोल योर हार्ट दैट इन ऑर्डर टू गिव योर हार्ट द स्पेशल इंस्ट्रक्शन इन ऑर्डर टू कंट्रोल इट दैट वेरी डेंजरस सिचुएशन इट इज वॉट टू डू Now, at that day we were actually discussing Raghunath Das Goswami. What is actual instruction of Raghunath Das Goswami? What is in the writings of Raghunath Das Goswami? In the writing of Raghunath Das Goswami, but that we can prove that that ultimately that kind of topmost prem than. प्रेम संपत्ति और भगवान इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दैट दैट इज एक्चुअल टारगेट ऑफ मन शिक्षा दैट काइंड ऑफ पैथ वे ऑफ प्रेम भक्ति इट इज ओपन इन श्री उपदेश अमृत ऑल्सो एंड मन शिक्षा ऑल्सो दिस एक्चुअली पुटिंग इन फ्रंट प्रेमा दैट इज द एक्चुअल इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट प्रीवियस डे ऑल्सो वॉट इज द एक्चुअल सिम्टम ऑफ ग्रीडीनेस Loba, that those who are actually going into that vidhi mark, just by not following that, if he'll be going ahead, then up till what point he can go? They have to follow vidhi mark first. So here, what the actual point is, that low greediness, that what we have seen, no. That in Kirtan also it is written regarding greediness, low. लोभ लालसा दिस यूर अंडरस्टैंड द पॉइंट एक्सटर्नल एंड इंटरनली बोथ काइंड ऑफ साधन आर देयर एंड इन साइड योर हार्ट दिस सिद्ध देह just by remembering that rakti dini kare pujishesh this kind of bhavan bhavan means that bhavana that bhava just by taking that in shadow of heart that what i have already told you these people are actually they are actually very much happy that inside the heart that uh, swarup siddhi you just need to just uh, go on uh, remembering and whatever their kind of uh, siddha deha you are actually remembering artificially that what actually written here siddha kriya bhavan means what do you mean by that siddha siddha deha kriya bhavan it doesn't mean that with bonded mind only and heart you will do everything that already when it is actually spoken that by bonded uh, mind and heart it hari bhajan not at all possible so how you can remember your siddha deh you tell me that inside your heart you are actually remembering your siddha deh it means that jeevas that uh, the actual uh, instruction of the siddha swarup of the jeevas we are actually understanding that at this siddha deh it means that jeevas they are actually siddha swarup parichay but uh, how you can get that siddha swarup uh, parichay you tell me some uh, in radha kund in some uh, sahajiya baba i'll go to and give 5000 rupees and he can give me siddha pranali and i can also become gopi this is practical no yes so this is actually strictly prohibited pro the proper speaking it's totally strict totally prohibited to do like this so it is not like that at all siddha deh means that the actual siddha swarup of the jeevas we can understand but how we can get that you tell me now actually the question is coming here that same siddha deh when bajas by speaking jeevas that their siddha swarup that in order to take that 
that whatever that what the Prabhupada actually is speaking here that uh, just by doing Harinam slowly steadily just by hearing Harinam all the time whatever kind of uh, vishaya all those kind of uh, material people that kind of matter is getting inside their heart when it is totally getting destroyed from one person and when another thrifty is getting destroyed then only Swarup Siddhi can be possible that uh, Swarup will also get into matured form and after the manifestation of Swarup inside one's heart that when the Swarup is getting manifested then Nitya Pratiti that automatically inside your heart this all kind of uh, what is my Siddha Dev what is the characteristic everything will get uh, opened in front of you the Prabhupada speaking that uh, this uh, to anyone this kind of uh, this kind of uh, by doing kapat which are you cannot uh, show the pathway towards uh, Swarup Siddhi you cannot show kapatta to someone and just by giving instruction with kapatta this kind of uh, thing is strictly prohibited to do this is strictly prohibited to do some uh, with full nishkapat bhav when your heart is getting rectified and getting pure that just by doing harinam uh, automatically that your swarup visha is getting manifested in front of you just by doing continuous harinam only and uh, all time when you are continuously doing Nam Sankirtan and Harikatha, maybe whether you are in dream and when you are just by doing Harinam and slowly slowly you can understand then just by pure Guru Vaishnav this is actually to just approve that by pure Guru Vaishnav you just need to do that you already got but some in front of some Siddh Guru Vaishnav that I have already got this and by this you just need to approve you get, you, you get the approval from that uh, Siddh Guru some with some kapat bhav he don't go to Gurudev and give instruction with the kapat bhav that is totally aparad that is total aparad that is not at all good and if someone actually kritrim with artificiality those who are some with kritrim artificiality with artificial artificiality that they are actually just taking the actual uh, some Sahajiya Guru has some attributed some kind of Swarup on someone that you are this forcefully then that is not at all the actual Siddha Swarup of the Jiva it is not like that at all forcefully it is not at all possible those people who are getting this Siddha Swarup they have already got that. Those people who have got this Siddha Swarup, this, he, that whatever is coming inside his heart or when whether it is coming in his dream, that Gurudev only in this Vishya, that whatever kind of uh, increment you are getting in the bhajan and in Patravali also it is written regarding this and Deep Prabhupada also also used to speak in this context that by Sri Krishna only Krishna Seva that is the actual work of uh, transcendental body to do Krishna Seva is the actual work of the transcendental body to do Krishna Seva it is the actual work of transcendental uh, body that is uh, for a transcendental body it is possible to do Krishna Seva by forcefully if some uh, attribution is given of some kind of imaginary swarup it is given that kind of krishna seva is not at all possible at all that goswamis are not at all putting up front like this in front of us this kind of conception and pathway at all so in this material world that kind of stool and urine blood and flesh body just by it is actually this body what you can see this in this material world by this uh, subtle and fine body that covering by this uh, not at all possible to get uh, Swarup Siddha Deha so in order to rectify ourselves that is very much important so that our transcendental body 
by that transcendental object that supreme absolute will bhagwan we can serve only then only then that uh, external body you can get the actual uh, identity of yours regarding this wish hai, that this pari- actual introduction of your you all already will get automatically so in this material world that kind of uh, by a subtle and fine body just to do krishna seva is not at all pos- not at all possible to do seva is a very far distant thing even to do darshan of that aprakrit transcendental object is not at all possible when this kind of this kind of uh, is done just by doing continuous naam slowly steadily under the anugatya pure guru vishnu and just by taking uh, the pure guru vishnu shelter if you can see if someone is actually th- seeing that something is going to happen then at that time automatically he will see that inside that bhav what is actually created by the kripa of pure guru vishnu and bhagwan inside his heart that kind of uh, that kind of same vibration will be created outside as well automatically it will get uh, generated out, outside also so our uh, trans by our transcendental body also this is there that when our transcendental body the seva is going on all the time when it is going all the time a prakrit seva then automatically everything will just get changed that kind of transcendental creed is not at all uh, on material platform at all we are thinking sometimes that we are ati manjiri and raman manjiri just by mentally connected ideas we are doing bhakti no thakur has strictly prohibited this kind of process and procedure this is the case <coughs> because we know by sense organs material sense organs to just uh, do the aprakrit naam dham swarup or bhagwan you cannot touch that at all that's why it is written in the shastras automatically nobody with kapat bhav and with some money position and they, if someone actually teaching him like that then the guru will also die and the disciple will also die nobody will uh, get out of that at all nobody will get out of this bondage at all like that in bhagavad gita mahapurana also in 11th canto to in 21st adhyay and uh, <coughs> that shloka it is written for those persons bol those particular jeevas that whatever uh, adhikar they are getting up to that condition that that you can just pick up 5 kg and you cannot pick up 10 kg and some persons whatever adhikar he is having according to his eligibility of adhikar only that only you just he needs to take that that is that according to his uh, that according to his uh, that some pure guru vishnu are actually speaking according to that only he need to go if others are speaking you need to go like that you don't need to follow that process at all that according to the adhikar and nishtha that to just leave adhikar nishtha that is actually called dosh just to leave adhikar nishtha that is actually called dosh and those means to have fault and whatever uh, those who don't have eligibility or adhikar you don't need to do that at all to, and just uh, by by just to just to 
just to uh, throw adhikar the eligibility if you are having then it is called dosh then dosh will come definitely upad used to speak that we are in our life we cannot we cannot enter in rasa tatva this which are is also not good prabhupad speaking that if someone is thinking that he has some disease now and after getting his disease getting relieved maybe today or tomorrow he will get out of that disease so the prabhupad speaking that those uh, persons who are diseased and uh, those who are actually the the healthy person having very high digestion power if they are taking their uh, rich diet then that person diseased person will die he cannot digest that he, one person is very healthy his digestion is very strong he is totally fit and this person what kind of uh, pr- food he can take and the person who is diseased who is not at all feeling good who don't have this kind of power to digest how he can digest you tell me so this kind of example the prabhupad is giving the prabhupad speaking that you see the prabhupad speaking that that these mentally concocted ideas that by some kind of swarup you are actually thinking that is totally prohibited that is just mentally concocted swarup you are making inside your mind the prabhupad speaking that after getting to know about your actual sambandh after that only your uh, uh, bhajan is get going to start so whatever be the case this sambandh gyan that this transcendental body when uh, we will be just uh, making uh, then after that what will happen that the this five uh, elements body made of five elements this material body this something this material body definitely is there but uh, this aprakrit transcendental body is automatically getting manifested in our body inside our heart that got manifested automatically someone if someone is making some vichar that now i am actually diseased okay maybe whole uh, life i will be taking sago pro the proper speaking this is not at all right our actual final target is to do rupa nuga bhajan that to do the anugatya of rupa rupa rup, rup goswami but it doesn't mean that we will not at all enter into that at all that according to the adhikar it is there if adhikar is not there then what is the use of going inside that if no adhikar is there of the person he has no eligibility to enter then what he will do by entering into that rupa nuga bhajan you tell me the prabhupad speaking that uh, that it, our my bhajan life its actual uh, target is to take the uh, dust particle of the lotus feet of rupa goswami pad that to do rupa nuga bhajan but it doesn't mean that i will be doing whatever i want whatever inside is my heart that i will do it's not like that and uh, opposite is also uh, prohibited that i will not at all do all this rupa nuga bhajan the prabhupad speaking that both which are are totally wrong that what that topmost transcendental prem ras of that transcendental world golok dham definitely that if he don't want that then definitely he going to fall into that prakrit rasa that when we will be doing the transcendental rasa that prem ras of yugal sarkar if we don't want that we are not at all getting attracted towards that up till that point that material ras we will be just going into because that transcendental rasa that uh, that perverted reflection is that material ras what we can see that what is the the transcendental ras what we can see is the perverted reflection uh, we can see in this material world that is material ras that definitely gonna attract us and gonna destroy us completely if that transcendental ras of that uh, uh, jugal sarkar that prem preeti ras is not going to attract us at all then definitely we go, gonna get attracted towards material ras so we are also not at all feeling that to get that also then definitely that transcendental rasa 
that madhur ras about that those who are actually getting very distressed and sorrowful in that uh, madhur ras then definitely he will be getting into that very dirty material rasa he gonna get fallen into that material rasa of this there is no doubt about that at all there is no doubt out about that all but when all your material sense organs with your mind and uh, that's why ambrish maharaj about ambrish maharaj this point is already been cleared that uh, tomorrow i'll be discussing regarding this vishe this point that's first you you just need to catch your mind why because your mind is very much unstable this is very brutal and unstable mind this this not gonna this uh, heart you just need in order to rectify it you just need to uh, make uh, uh, some rectification and solution otherwise nothing will happen at all that's why it is written that all those sahijiyas those inside is inside their heart that there so much adacity inside their heart that they have so much adacity they are having that they don't want to hear and listen to all this manasiksha and shri rup upadesh amrit are what are we this all for child this manasiksha upadesh amrit is all for child we don't want to listen it what i will do that by listening so much audacity you see by maya devi that their audacity is gonna in order to increase it more and more and has given a very nice arrangement for them so that their audacity should increase a fraction of second and when that their audacity is going to extreme point then what will happen will happen now if i'll give medicine uh, forcefully then the medicine won't work no the medicine won't work madhvendra puripad if he knows that uh, in order to give medicine to ramchandra puri he will just get uh, rectified then madhvendra puri is actually vaishnav is topmost vaishnav he has taken darshan of bhagwan 3 to 4 times but definitely he will not get disadvantage no ramchandra puri the prabhupad when prabhupad speaking that even my topmost enemy should also not get the disadvantage in his life not at all he that is disadvantage should not come in his life also so madhvendra puri pa actually if madhvendra puri pa ji knows that uh, ram that uh, he will just uh, by uh, speaking he will be just uh, will be okay but then he is actually doing just the opposite he is just doing the upeksha of the kripa why because he has uh, his audacity has gone up, up to such a stage that uh, to him nothing can be done even medicine you will give definitely nothing will happen just wait and watch just keep quiet the situation what will happen that is the actual thing what to do in gaudiya bhajan this is very much speciality in gaudiya bhajan that under the anugati of mahaprabhu and bhakti vinod thakur deep prabhupad under the anugati of guru varga everything this gaurang uh, mahaprabhu these instructions and acharan just by doing that we are actually speaking to others we will not at all stop that at all we, just by stopping we will become sahajiya we will continuously doing our preaching the actual acharan of mahaprabhu under the anugati of guru vaishnav that we just need to uh, follow that and we have to do the acharan and you just need to speak to others as well this is the actual vichar of mahaprabhu this uh, actually has been spoken so the prabhupad in manasiksha just by speaking that uh, then just by going through 12 uh, different uh, one of uh, braj dham and he become full of anand just by speaking all this in that bhakti no thakur virchit manasiksha stav upadesh amrit stav commentary of shila rup goswami pad everything the prabhupad used to do at the time of doing braj mandal parikrama in 12 different one he used to do that if you are as speaking me uh, rightly that this manasiksha this manasiksha after that after completely manasiksha only that when your mind then your heart and mind is getting instructed completely in pure teachings of shila rupa pad then at that time that our <coughs> ragunath das goswami is uh, virchit uh, 
श्री श्री स्वनियम द्वादशकम यू जस्ट नीड टू रीड दैट हाउ राधा रानी एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ राधा रानी दैट टॉप मोस्ट ग्रीट दैट भजन लाल सा दैट ट्रमेंडस ग्रीडीनेस दैट टॉप मोस्ट ट्रमेंडस ग्रीडीनेस इज देयर इन साइड एर हार्ट टू सर्व द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्रीमती राधा रानी दैट शीला रघुनाथ दास को स्वाई पाद इन स्वनियम द्वादशकम he already has manifested that in front of us that in 12 shlokas he has just manifested in front of us and shila sachidanand bhakti mein thakur also and shila sachidanand bhakti mein thakur also has uh, under the guidance of ragunath das goswami pad that swaniyam dadashikam that he has written one commentary on that under by the kripa of pure guru vaishnav that he has just uh, i have already published it also swaniyam dadashikam by bhakti vinod thakur almost it is one and the same just only one difference is there that shila sachidanand bhakti vinod thakur with a very humble mood under the guidance of lotus feet of ragunath das ko swami pad and is praying that you do kripa that you do kripa on me so that you give you do kripa on me so that i can do this seva so like this शीला सचिदान भक्ति में ठाकुर विरचित दैट स्वनियम दादशकम दैट रघुनाथ दास को स्वाई पाद अंडर द अनुगत्य ऑफ रघुनाथ दास को स्वाई पाद इट इज दैट सीक्रेसी लाइक लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर डूइंग रॉन्ग दे आर स्पीकिंग दैट आवर परम पूज्य पद केशव को स्वाई महाराज वी डोंट हैव दैट अनुगत्य ही हैज रिटर्न डिफरेंट कीर्तन ऑफ भक्ति में ठाकुर अरे यू आर फुलिश नंबर वन है दिस इज ऑल रबिशनेस वट दे आर स्पीकिंग विच काइंड ऑफ फुलिशनेस दे आर डूइंग आई कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड परम पूज्य पद केशव को स्वाई महाराज दैट अंडर हिज अनुगत्य ही ऑल द टाइम यूज टू राइट इवन महाभारत ऑल्सो यूज यूज टू फेल दे आर ऑल फुलिश एक्चुअली ऑल काइंड ऑफ फुलिश सिद्धांत दे आर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दिस इज द सेम कंडीशन इन द भजन राज्य यू कैन सी नो सम वन इज स्पीकिंग समथिंग एल्स एंड दे आर समथिंग स्पीकिंग एल्स ऑल काइंड ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंटेटिव आर्ग्यूमेंट्स आर गोइंग ऑन नो टैक्स इज गोइंग ऑन इन आर्ग्यूमेंट्स नो सो दे आर जस्ट पासिंग आर्ग्यूमेंट्स दैट सेट अरे पर पूजे बात केशव को स्वामी महाराज थिंकिंग दैट भक्ति मनो ठाकुर वॉट कीर्तन हैज रिटन बाय हिम दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट नथिंग कैन बी अबव दैट बट इन दैट सब दिस लाइन विच इज देयर इन दैट किशोर किशोरी वॉट दे आर डूइंग दैट इन द मॉर्निंग दिस काइंड ऑफ इन साइड बॉन्डेड कंडीशन पर्सन दे एट मटीरियल कंसेप्शन कैन कम इन साइड देयर माइंड that only for pure guru vishnu this is the life for them each and every kirtan new new bhav each and every kirtan is taking up inside the heart of the prabhupada and gurudev all the time with full anurag new anurag it is coming new bhava so in this there is no problem but for new bonded par param puja vat keshav ko swami maharaj made this vichar that in order to instruct your heart that first controlling of your mind and heart is very important like 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 a mad horse that in order to instruct him and in order to take him into control but if you control him then opposite will happen that's why normal procedure what it is that what is the normal procedure the normal procedure is that that our guru varg that whatever our guru varg vichar is there according to that yukt by yukt vairagya only by yukt vairagya you just need to do give treatment you just need to do treatment and under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav we have to follow pure guru vaishnav then only he can understand param puja vat keshav ko swami maharaj thinking that so nice kirtan it is and they will actually speak this kirtan then bonded jeevas will think that are what it is that what they are doing in the morning all uh, boys and girls so just by his uh, automatically he has written one kirtan all the time he used to speak this kirtan inside his heart and at last uh, under the guidance of bhakti mno thakur under the anugatya of the lotus feet of bhakti mno thakur he has written one aarti kirtan very nice aarti kirtan in that that manasiksha vishay is more there is more of there bhakti mno thakur that morning kirtan in that that manasiksha is definitely there that definitely it is there but that rasa is there that bhakti mno thakur that kirtan morning aarti kirtan that topmost transcendental rasa is there and for the ras is only for the rasic devotees for bonded jeevas it is not at all there that's why our param pujya pad keshav goswami maharaj 
our guru pad padma what he has done that he has done uh, separated the rasa tattva from uh, jiva dharma that about this i have also just manifested the translation why why my maharaj has done this that it is and done it is done by maharaj why because that all the bonded jivas they will be thinking opposite that all those bonded jivas that ordinary persons bonded jivas that for all bonded jivas on to their hand that all their bonded jivas in their hand that sadhan bhakti in their hand that rasa tatva that this kind of fixed mind keshav goswami maharaj has made that because a lot of problems can be done and lot of disadvantage can be done on the basis of bonded jivas so that's why he has separated rasa tatva that rasa tatva is getting separated so that in each and every one's hand it should not go that other parts he can read apart from rasa tatva that who who will be eligible after some time then rasa tatva is not at all uh, uh, restricted for him he can also read that are before the thing is that that on bhakti no thakur so much love and so much preeti is there and uh, bhakti no thakur under the anugatya of bhakti no thakur that under the anugatya of bhakti no thakur how keshav goswami maharaj has uh, taken this decision that it is a uh, very topmost thinking very in depth vichar it is there if you are thinking opposite that just passing arguments then by aparad he definitely going to die Def- definitely he going to die by aparad definitely he is going to die by aparad so whatever be the case now the prabhupad speaking that our uh, definitely our final target is there final goal is there but now at least he should stop that after he'll just get uh, after he'll get healthy he'll getting out of the disease condition that uh, he can be doing the uh, uh, he is in disease condition he cannot take healthy food at all so whatever kind of restrictions for regarding his food he has to take so what kind of disadvantage is there in that nothing is there he need to follow that restricted food when he is in the disease condition so sir niyam dadashikam this our ragunath das ko swami pad that in after man siksha he has written that so niyam dadashikam and aur ek and sundar very nice vilap kusuman that vilap kusum manjali this ragunath das ko swami pad has written that vilap kusum manjali this vilap kusum manjali inside that seva prap that how to get the seva and how that topmost greediness bhajan lalasa what is there on to the lotus feet of shrimati radha rani that in order to get the lotus feet of shrimati radha rani just to see that bhajan lalasa regarding her lotus feet that definitely is there that after that that inside how inside that inside under the anugatya of sakhis that we have that desire to do seva that kind of uh, accuracy of seva how to do that that excellency of uh, seva about that it is written in vilap kusum manjali when our shila ban goswami maharaj abhin guru pad padma is is just prayed on to lotus feet of the prabhu pad that inside my heart this kind of bhav is getting uh, uh, mounted inside my heart very topmost greediness is coming that the prabhu pad speaking after that that you do one thing that uh, you just read swadiyam swaniyam dadashakam first under the guidance of bhakti vinod thakur and ragunath das go swami pad that just by hearing that and after that vilap ko sumanjali very accurately with full uh, concentrated mind and heart you just need to read and if you have some problem then you just tell me that that each and every one uh, prabhupad is not giving eligibility to read all this prabhupad not at all giving eligibility to read all this so whatever be the case so this is the actual point if someone is some actually topmost version of that what bhakti no thakur has written in kirtan in kirtan of bhakti no thakur writing no that gorang mahaprabhu is about gorang mahaprabhu's dham that gorang mahaprabhu nitanand prabhu about him and after radha govind everything that one division of kirtan is there that shan kalyan kalpatru sharanagati everything have some division and category of the kirtan is there 
that Siddh Lalasa, Tevra Lalasa, Bhajan Lalasa, this all Kirtan, different, different Kirtan by Bhakti Vinod Thakur, it's already there, it's being divided according to the uh, division and the and in Bhakti Vinod Thakur also has uh, just uh, the topmost Bhajan Lalasa he has manifested in front of us. The, this Kirtan, what it is, is all, it's all Tevra Lalasa. Topmost greediness for Bhajan. So much shloka Bhakti Thakur has just uh, given. That topmost Lalasa, if it is uh, some kind of one drama, that uh, topmost uh, greediness for Bhajan is not one kind of drama. If someone has uh, that uh, Lalasa for uh, greediness for uh, Bhajan, that whole enjoyment of this material world is just very, very bad. It's nothing. So much bad it is that he you can't even imagine that what Srila Rupa Goswami Pad has told, no? That this is the actual symptom. That those who are actually, that uh, drama, how, up till what point it will go? That if someone, someone, Samacharya can do cheating, no? But up till what point it will go, you tell me. This is the actual symptom. That when, inside whom, that top, topmost uh, three, Tibra Lalasa or Seva Lalasa, is coming, then whatever is there of the lamb name, fame, position, whatever you can just uh, put in front of him, nothing it is at all in front of him. It is just nil. It is just one kind of garbage for him, name, fame, position. This, so that's why our uh, Rupa Shila Rupa Goswami Path has written and told that up till that Sri Shama Sundar if uh, my heart is going on to lotus feet of Bhagwan, up till that point this whole world there's an enjoyment that name fame position etc this just uh, rubbish it is it will be just very heinous for me like this if it is like this I have to do then definitely you understand this is one kind of drama be sure about that Bhakti Thakur also has written Parampujabad Keshav Goswami Maharaj also written Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj also written Srila Bhakti Daid Madhav Goswami Maharaj Srila Bhakti Rakhak Shida Dev Goswami Maharaj also written he all the all they have written it already that adhikar when you are not at all having up till that point no kind of uh, efforts you should make in bhajan severe not how much proofs i have to show you you just tell me lot of proofs are there first adhikar eligibility is required It's already written that you are on the tree without climbing on the tree. How you can take that fruit and you are just uh, climbing up the tree and taking that fruit? How it is possible for you to take that forcefully? If you are actually asking it correctly, that that from Prakrit Shatadoshani, from Prakrit Rath Shatadoshani up till these all, I have already published it. By the, I am in very small, very stool of, warm of a stool, but under the guidance of pure Guru Vaishnav, that four to five parts I have already uh, given. I have already published these four to five parts. This, all these parts I have already published. So who, that of to whom I will be giving the teachings, you tell me. To whom I will be teaching. So this all, that actually it is, all, it's already written by our the Prabhupada and he has already has given also protest notes against them. What you are doing actually, that what all you are doing, Narottam Das Thakur also have written protest. Narottam Das Thakur Mahashaya also, Lochan Das Thakur, all they have written in Bhakti Rasamri Sindhur, Shila Rupa Goswami written and uh, Shat Sandar Bhagavad Amrit everywhere. That Sadhan Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti and Prem Bhakti, that categorization it is already written. And the Prabhupada always speaking that, oh Mahadegan, they are requesting that that whatever kind of difference between these three things, you just try to understand the difference. You don't neglect all these differences. 
दैट साधन भक्ति वॉट इज द एक्चुअल करेक्टरिस्टिक एंड भाव भक्ति एंड प्रेम भक्ति अप टिल वॉट पॉइंट इट इज एंड इफ यू आर बी जस्ट मेकिंग वन खिचड़ी एंड वॉच वॉच ऑफ ऑल देन नथिंग विल हैपन इट इज़ वेरी मच इम्पॉसिबल टू अंडरस्टैंड देन इट इज़ नॉट एट ऑल गुड दिस काइंड ऑफ टॉप मोस्ट मर्सीफुल प्रेयर दैट टॉप मोस्ट ग्रीडीनेस दैट भाव माई ग्रीडनेस आवर लोचन दस ठाकुर नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर एवरी थिंग ही दे हैव रिटर्न दैट मन शिक्षा लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दे हैव रिटर्न रिगार्डिंग दैट हु एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू हेयर यू टेल मी हु इज देयर टू हेयर समबडी इज देयर टू हेयर दिस यू टेल मी दैट्स वाई दी प्रभुपा स्पीकिंग दैट आवर भक्ति नो ठाकुर ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग दैट इफ समन इज स्पीकिंग दैट यू कम इफ समन स्पीकिंग दैट यू कम जी यू कम यू कम टू मी I will show you how to do rasatat bhajan. Bhakti Nath Thakur already writing. I already published a lot of time, and I will be publishing it more readily. I will publish it more. Maybe two to ten persons only. The this thing is uh, going, and if he can just uh, rectify him, that is more than enough for me. It is more than enough for me that this uh, actual updesh of Prabhupad instruction of Prabhupad I have to do. Bhakti Nath Thakur ji also has written this point that those persons. दो सो कॉल्ड पर्सन दो दो सो कॉल्ड आचार्य दे आर स्पीकिंग दैट यू कम टू मी एंड आई विल बी जस्ट गिविंग यू द नॉलेज ऑफ रस तत्व यू जस्ट कम इन क्लोज टू मी इन इन गजराती मैया आओ यू कम टू मी कम हेयर आई विल शो यू आई विल टीच यू रस तत्व दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग इफ सम सो कॉल्ड आचार्य स्पीकिंग दैन भक्ति में ठाकुर स्पीकिंग दैट ही इज नंबर वन चीटर ही इज चीटर एंड फ्रॉडस्टर नंबर वन those those that acharya who is speaking that because it is not at all instructed rasa tatva bhakti mr thakur readily is speaking that this rasa tatva is not the actual point of giving instruction to anyone when someone is actually will be going to that uh, platform then only he can get something out of that that kind of uh, in this is not the point of instruction it is not a matter of preaching at all it is not at all a matter of preaching bhakti mr thakur speaking rasa tatva परम पूज्य बात केशव को स्वयं ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग द सेम पॉइंट एंड आई विल पब्लिशिंग इन मोर एंड मोर वन आफ्टर अनदर लेट मी सी अप टिल वॉट पॉइंट आई कैन गो इट इज वेरी मच सरप्राइजिंग टू हेयर ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दैट दैट डोंट वॉन्ट टू बिकम आवर गुरु वर्ग एट ऑल भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग दैट महाजन्स दैट एक्चुअल पैथवे ऑफ द महाजन्स द एक्चुअल पैथवे ऑफ द महाजन्स द महाजन्स the actual pathway shown by them that is the actual pathway on which you need to go that is the actual pathway on which you need to go there is no new pathway at all bhagavad dharma pathway is okay but representation can be difference but the only pathway is that only it is that similar bhagavad pathway that pathway cannot be thrown away that amrish maharaj cannot be thrown away brahma ji also cannot be thrown away they are all are mahajans their representation is different which they are all in this bhagavad dharma only also only that bhagavad dharma that actual pathway that is only one and the same but if you are making it new new pathway you are making then bhakti vinod thakur speaking that new pathway cannot be there at all new pathway can't be there you understand the point that this updesh amrat in updesh amrat commentary also that i have already discussed this and i will be discussing it more and more that kind of desire is there to discuss more and more here actually it is written bhakti by bhakti mr thakur that pathway cannot be new at all pathway is only one and way the one and one and the same that uh, on that same pathway you just go and go and those who are getting more rasa and less rasa it's according to your own uh, sanskar previous sanskar by that only you can get that your that sun, just by speaking sanskar you are thinking that about bounded soul i am speaking no bounded soul don't have any eligibility sanskar you are thinking it wrongly this is actually speaking in a right way that sanskar is a actual pure name because without sanskar there is no entry of bhagavad uh, bhagavad dharma ha you can speak that according to their taste they can get entry like the taste of pralad maharaj what he is getting in bhajan that is actually that patama bhishma the what taste he is getting in bhajan that again that yamraj ji shiv ji maharaj what they are getting that they definitely following bhagavad dharma but there is actually difference in their taste that is that we can speak like that so okay what can be there 
and also bhakti no thakur speaking that pathway cannot be a new one at all pathway cannot be a new one at all those people who are speaking that for name fame position in that name fame position bhakti no thakur what is speaking that for name fame position in that those who are not at all following mahajans and those who are actually making a new pathway and not at all following the mahajans pathway then definitely then bhakti no thakur speaking that they are just want to speak just want to take name fame position they sahajiyas which are there they are actually the no, top most sahajiyas but others those who are actual acharyas they will not at all uh, uh, be releasing the pathway of the mahajans at all those who are real acharyas bhakti no thakur speaking that pathway can't be new at all and the pathway is only one and the same but according to the taste different taste that uh, again you can see different different kind of rasa get exhibited in different different mahajans that what kind of anand what we are getting that what shri larup sanatan or what shri chanatan ma chadan mahaprabhu has shown us that is a different thing but this is all already bhagavad dharma what they have shown us bhakti no thakur has just openly speaking this point in front of us that those who are actually for name fame position that uh, those who are just throwing the pathway of mahajans and they just want to uh, take the new pathway and they want to make a new pathway that acharya definitely with accord together with all his followers will definitely go to hell for infinity period it's already written those who will be following the new pathway or do that acharya which indicated that new pathway and those followers those who are following that new pathway all and all they will be going to hell that bhakti no thakur is already speaking this point bhakti no thakur speaking this point so pathway cannot be uh, new at all it is the same pa- bhagavat pathway only that jad abhinavesh that prakar prakrit dash dash do, ras doshani that pa- keshav goswami maharaj has published very nice which has already there with us that i also want to publish it but who will actually read and this everyone wants to go on to the opposite uh, opposite pathway what to do so now the actual point is that that up till that jad abhinivesh is there inside you then just please that don't try to understand rasatat at all this is my actual appeal on to your lotus feet of all that is my actual request and appeal that a continuous appeal and request is there that whenever this bonded condition is there because in jada bhi nivesh on in bonded condition how you can understand rasa tatva that i've already told you you understand the point no that day that previous uh, saptah previous week i have discussed so when this kind of condition is actually done then all the time you are doing hari kirtan hari naam sankirtan and shravan is going on then all the time that on to his tongue that kirtan hari katha is just dancing that prabhupad also used to speak this shloka only that same shloka prabhupad used to speak this shloka prabhupad used to speak this shloka i have already i can remember that tomorrow i will be just discussing that same shloka in front of you now no time is there to discuss so so actual vichar is there is that that up till khantir abhyat kalatam viraktir mana sunnata asha bandhu samutkantha nam gane sada ruchi hai asukti stat guna kshane pratistat pasadi stale itvaye anubhava suryati bhav umkure yane ye sab bata this all i have told you that is actual symptoms what already i have told now now actually prabhupad always used to speak repeatedly you know that how sadhan bhakti bhav bhakti and prem bhakti that in all these three things what is the actual the actual difference between them all the three is that in order to understand that completely you just need to understand that just try to understand that then everything will be done if you try to understand the difference between the three that what is the actual difference between these three otherwise what will happen that that two to three weeks before i have already told you no when the person is in uh, sadhan stage and is already there in the sadhan stage when the person is in the sadhan stage 
but in that condition he is actually thinking that he is siddha you understand the point when i'm speaking sen is in sadhana stage but he is thinking that he is siddha and he is doing all opposite in that that what will happen what will happen you tell me that he is in sadhan stage and now he is thinking that he is siddha that he is thinking because he have just learned all rasatat just by heart he has uh, he is speaking pradeep prabhupad speaking that in this context that when some sadhak is in sadhana stage and he is thinking that he is siddha then vivarth will definitely come what is not is is there he, that can come that vivarth will come that vivarth can get produced and vivarth will come in that and after vivarth will come what will happen that vivarth when it will come that inside your heart it will just make the jeev uh, sahajya and patit that the mahajans that to do anugaman of mahajans is to is required not to do anukaran of mahajans don't need to do anukaran of mahajans at, at all you need to do anugaman you need to do anugaman of mahajans by doing anukaran then he will just get destroyed and fired up that's it nothing will happen so it is very difficult to understand so that's why it is strictly prohibited that tomorrow i will be the discussing the ragunath das goswami but that first shloka of manasiksha what he wants to speak about that i will be discussing tomorrow that what is the actual uh, symptom of siddha mahatma and uh, what is the actual uh, symptom of uh, siddha avastha tomorrow i will be discussing that and today i will be just giving rest today up till this point because the time is very less गुरु गोष्ठे गोष्ठा लयेश सुजने भूसुर गणे शामंत्रे सिनामनी ब्रजन बजुव दंद सरने सदा दम्भ्यम हीत्वा कुरुरति मपुर कुरुरति मपुर बम्मति तरां माये शांतर भातोस चटु वीर विजाचे धिद पद मनो मे तब कठासुपैकुंठना वांचकल्पतुर्वश्य कृपा सिंधु विश्व पतितांग पावन भो वैष्णव्यो नमो